All praises to the most high. God is the greatest. How y'all feel? I got my blue on. Look, I got my blue on all the way down to my blue shoes. But guess what? You might see me locking up the crib, but I ain't cripping. <laughs> you might see me with a, a blue magnifying glass. Looking down here at this bug, seeing what this bug eating on. But I ain't cripping. You might see me saying I love the blue skies. I even love this blue label on the spring water. But I ain't cripping. I'm not cripping. I'm not cripping. You might see me do a little dance. But I ain't cripping. You might see me say the sky looked blue and gray. But I ain't cripping. You might hear me say I love the ocean. I love the blue ocean. I love the blue ocean. It looks so nice, but I ain't cripping. I got them all blue, but I ain't cripping. And I ain't tripping either, because I'm loving life. Life is the best when you can go outside and get the best. Well, right now, I'm on my way to the, the pharmacy because my beautiful daughter, she told me, she said, Dad, can you go to the pharmacy real quick and pick up my blood pressure medicine I said yes yes I will but only if you tell me what is actually in your blood pressure medicine she thought for a second like hum hum that right there dad I didn't really ask him what was in the medicine I said so you mean to tell me you love in life. All praise to the most high. God is the greatest. You love Elisha. You love my millionaire tomorrow that I put up here at the top when I tell people hit that. You mean to tell me you love everything you put in your body and now you got to put this blood pressure medicine in your body and you don't know what it is. But what if the fact is that you believe Whatever it is, it's going to give you what you need. Is that the true factor? The fact that you believe <clears throat> whatever it is in this medicine is going to heal you. I said that's understandable. I believe that because I do listen to what people tell me. You having fun? Yeah. Let me see you do a backflip real quick. Bust it real quick. Boom, look at that. Oh, go ahead, do it real quick. Front flip form. Boom, yeah, there it is. One more back flip, here you go. Boom, there it is. How we doing, you doing all right? You happy today? All right, I'm proud of you. Keep having fun. I see you doing it again and again. The kids outside having fun in the blue wind. He had a blue jacket, but he ain't cripping. Only reason why I said we ain't cripping because the gang that I'm in, it loves to win spring water. It loves to breathe in the oxygen. It might be blue. It might be red. It might be purple. It might be orange. It might be green. It might not have no color at all. As long as you can smile and get excited about life. So the question is, what's on your mind right now? Are you excited about doing something great today? Did I jump off my topic? I get back on it. Because I was talking about my daughter inhaling something that she didn't even know it was about. So I talked to this other guy and said, yeah, my daughter, my daughter just had the baby and she got to take these blood pressure pills. And this guy, he ain't no doctor either. He said, well, the fact that she had the baby some things do happen, and you got to take different medicine from the doctors. I said, what if we put it in perspective and look at the whole ordeal? We can even take it all the way back to Jesus. When Jesus was on the cross, and they went to make sure he was dead, they went to break his legs, but he was already dead. Remember, he said, no man taketh my life. And ain't no bone on my body going to be broken by nobody. Jesus said that in the Bible. 
But when they went to poke him in the side, he didn't say he wouldn't get stabbed though in the side because he got beat, so he wasn't worried about the stab. When they went to poke him in his ribs in the side, what came out? Blood and water. Yes. The same thing come out of female when she having a baby. Blood and water. So if you dehydrated or your blood is low, it'll cause you to get a headache. It'll cause you to have low blood pressure or high blood pressure. Could the high blood pressure be the stress? Could the low blood pressure be the fact that your blood has been broken or pushed out of your body and you got to feed it with more what? Blood or water? Which one gonna make the most blood? But listen, I didn't go to school to be a doctor. I didn't go to school anyway because I kept skipping classes. Me and Jermaine Lauren, my friend when I was a kid, when we grew up in Liggett Heights, we used to skip school all the time because we didn't like school. We didn't like the rules. I always broke the rules because I didn't think school was gonna get me the money that I needed because I seen a lot of people graduate and some of them went good and did good. And I seen a lot of people graduate and they uh, they didn't want to do no better. So it ain't their fault. It ain't the school's fault. But what I'm in, I said what I'm in, what I'm learning to understand is whatever you put this in the most, the excitement that you put in, the win that you say, I am a winner, I am a winner, the water that you put in, it really do real good with what you got right here. Can you see me clear? My name is Elisha, www.elihillam.com, www.electricalfoods with a Z, www.elicarter, Eli Hillam, the millionaire from Lincoln Heights, way back there on the highway. But I would just learn about what you putting in your body. Either you digesting or you mentally rehearsing something. Do you know exactly what it is? And is it really benefiting you? Or is it really benefiting you? Because it all should be great. Because you putting it in. Either you know what you're doing or you don't know what you're doing. You could be addicted to putting in something too much. If you're putting too much food in your body and you're overweight, that means you might be addicted to food. If you shooting up heroin too much and you're about to die, you might be addicted to heroin. If you drinking alcohol so much and your belly real big, if your belly real fat, my belly ain't fat, but if you got a real big belly and you're getting sick, you might be an alcoholic, you might be addicted to this. But I found out a way. I found the secret. I found the secret. And up at the top, Millionaires Tomorrow a link you to a secret mind hack that'll help you learn and understand where you at. You get to like and share. You can get in my inbox. And I'll tell you the secret. I found the secret, baby, and I'm excited about it. And I love you, and I thank God for you.